Today we're tackling a topic that's absolutely fundamental to what we do here at Bethesda Spine and Posture, and in medicine in general, but often its complexity is really underestimated. I'm talking about reading x-rays. Welcome to our deep dive into the world of x-ray reading. Today we'll uncover just how challenging and technical this skill truly is. It's more than just looking at a black and white picture, it's about deciphering a complex story about a patient's health, often under pressure where every detail matters. I often get asked, how hard can it really be to look at an x-ray and trust me it's a question that highlights a common misconception. Think about it. We're taking a three-dimensional human body, full of intricate structures, and compressing it into a two-dimensional image. The amount of information packed into that single image is immense, and learning to see beyond the surface, to identify subtle abnormalities and to understand their implications for a patient's well-being, is a journey that takes years of dedicated study and practice. In this video, we're going to pull back the curtain on what it truly takes to become proficient at interpreting radiographic images. We'll explore the depth of knowledge required, the sheer volume of practice, and how this skill compares to other complex professions. My goal today isn't to intimidate, but to foster a deeper appreciation for the diagnostic process and the expertise involved in ensuring you get the most accurate care. So, stick around as we decode the art and science behind reading x-rays. So let's start with the fundamental challenge. We're looking at a flat two-dimensional shadow of a complex three-dimensional structure. Imagine trying to understand the entire layout of a house, including all its rooms, furniture, and plumbing, just by looking at its shadow from one angle. That's essentially what we're doing with an x-ray. Bones overlap, soft tissues create subtle variations in density, and what might seem like a clear area could be obscuring something critical. We have to mentally reconstruct that three-dimensional anatomy from the two-dimensional information presented, and that's a cognitive leap that requires a lot of training and spatial reasoning. This isn't just an academic exercise. The consequences of our interpretation are immediate and directly impact patient care. A missed fracture, a subtle sign of an infection, or an early indication of a degenerative process. These are things that can dramatically alter a patient's treatment plan and ultimately their outcome. If we misinterpret an image, it could lead to delayed treatment, unnecessary procedures, or even a worsening of the patient's condition. The pressure is always on to be as accurate as possible because real people are relying on our ability to see what needs to be seen in these shades of gray. Furthermore, the body isn't static. We're often looking for signs of how things are changing or how they might be 